What is up YouTube and welcome to this Paranormal Ending Explained video. This is an Egyptian show based on a book series of the same name and the show follows Rafat, a bumbling man seemingly wandering aimlessly through life and has fallen into an engagement despite loving his ex. He's a staunch science-based person who refuses to believe in superstition and ghosts. We start off in 1969 Egypt and Rafat is living somewhat of a sad life and is dreading to go to a dinner party for his birthday and as well as this, he's somewhat neurotic and believes that things just keep going wrong in his life, citing Murphy's Law, that if it's going to go wrong, well, it does go wrong, yes. But his old flame is in town, Maggie from Scotland, and, well, he invites her to this party despite his fiance being there. But the fiance he has, he becomes evident that he does not love her. Maggie is the love of his life, and every other woman is second best to him, even his poor doting fiance. Now, the subject of Shiraz comes up when talking about women in his life, and Shiraz was a little girl who lived at a house that him, his family, and his friends played in, but it turns out that she was indeed a ghost all this time. The house had actually burned down in the past, and Shiraz was trapped in the basement. And a young boy who was there with one of the servants of the, the family that she belonged to, well, what happened was the house set on fire and he tried to save her, but he couldn't. And he had a relationship with her. He played f with her and things like that, almost mirroring Rafat's same friendship. But, well, she thought that he abandoned her and was racked with guilt all of his life. Now, throughout the show from the dinner party onwards, he feels like because they brought up the name Shiraz, he believes that everything that happens in the show is her and he can't realize or accept that, well, it might be the paranormal that is actually real. Increasingly crazier paranormal phenomena happen, such as an epidemic in Egypt, which he tries to resolve and, well, his fiance also became afflicted by this. Going to save her, he tries to use a mystical flower that he gained from Libya as Maggie himself and a rock star scientist named Louis, more on him later, go on a mission to a secret tribal cave as it's guarded by a massive gorilla in some of the worst CGI I think I have ever seen. Now, what I find interesting by this is I'm not sure what they're trying to do. I'm not sure if they're trying to show that all of these phenomena have a sort of simple explanation or if it's trying to awaken the kind of paranormal acceptance in Rafat as... We know that Louis now is Lucifer and he's behind this whole thing, but he's actually given tarot cards, meaning death and dreams, predicting his life, which Rahat absolutely rejects. He doesn't believe that these tarot cards can, can predict anything, but there is Louis, aka Lucifer, in the back of his mind, quite literally. Each one of these mysteries push him further into believing science, as he asks a former student who helped him with a mystery if it is possible to only dream of one thing, as he believes the answer to all of this is in his mind, as he's been receiving mazes from the former colleague, of course, Louis, and an incubus is visiting him, which means if he dies in the dream, he does actually die for real. However, this all really come to a crescendo when he returns to the house, and I really do feel like a lot of this could have actually been resolved maybe in half the episodes we actually got. Considering this is six episodes, it's quite a short season to be honest for for Netflix or at least what I've had so far now he returns to the house after surviving his dreams as he realizes that the maze all this time the maze that he was given by Louis was in his mind and he needs to keep his mind safe but the house has been left to him by Ibrahim and he learns what happens to Shiraz and how she died in the basement as the house was on fire he learns that Shiraz was actually protecting him all this time he had been led, or at least thought he had been led, to kill himself and that this would mean that the curse of Shiraz would go. But, well, it wouldn't because he goes to kill himself as he sees all of his family and his fiancée die. But, well, it was all an illusion. And as he goes to hang himself, we do have Maggie here come into the house to save him and she then gets possessed by Shiraz. Shiraz then actually speaks to him and explains that she was protecting him all this time from Lucifer. Now, Shiraz giving him this message means that he, she moves on and no longer lingers in limbo. She was the one behind the death messages and everything so far as she wanted to try and save him from the lingering threat of Lucifer. As we know now, 
is actually Louis. Now he returns home and gets a letter from Louis, presuming that he's still alive, and sends him a gift. He says that there are no more Maisies, but sends him a tarot card of Lucifer, and again, signs off the letter as Lucifer, signifying to the show that this is the big baddie that we had all along. This was all a trick to try and get something in his mind. He finally accepts that the paranormal is real, as we have Rafat's law, and Rafat's mind is the key, and he is now no longer a skeptic, with the subconscious playing a huge part in this. There is something locked within Rafat's mind that seemingly Lucifer wants, because he could have killed him at any point throughout the show. He seems to be not only playing a game with him, but trying to get something that's in his mind. And, well, it seems that he's trying to make Rafat believe in all of the paranormal. And even sending an incubus to his dreams so he can try and explore his own subconscious. This was all a trick all along. And he also did forget that Shiraz did exist. He forgot that everything that happened, he believed that he just played with her and that was that. He didn't believe that he jumped off and he was being tricked and things like that. So it's a very interesting thing there nonetheless. Now, overall, I did enjoy watching this with my girlfriend. We did enjoy it and it was such a cool premise with different paranormal sort of monsters of the week. The parts here just, in my opinion, felt very, very empty because we didn't have any extras and the CGI was just something else. And I feel like given two more episodes, they could have maybe expanded the the story a bit more cut down on the filler and maybe present lucifer or see what's going on or at least they like the mystery i guess that's why they did what they did and we'll have to wait till season two but that's it for this video please drop a like down below please do subscribe with notifications on and i'll see you soon and goodbye